Scheme B, Job Creation in Manufacturing. This scheme will incentivize additional employment in the manufacturing sector linked to the employment of first-time employees. An incentive will be provided at specified scale directly both to the employee and the employer with respect to the EPFO contribution in the first four years of employment. The scheme is expected to benefit 30 lakh youth entering employment and their employers. Scheme C, support to employers. This employer-focused scheme will cover additional employment in all sectors. All additional employment within a salary of 1 lakh rupee per month will be counted. The government will reimburse to employers up to 3,000 rupees per month for two years towards the EPFO contribution for each additional employee. The scheme is expected to incentivize additional employment of 50 lakh persons. Participation of women in the workforce. We will facilitate higher participation of women in the workforce through setting up of working women hostels in collaboration with industry and establishing creches. In addition, the partnership will seek to organize women-specific skilling programs and promotion of market access for women SHG enterprises. Skilling program. I'm happy to announce a new centrally sponsored scheme as the fourth scheme under the Prime Minister's package for skilling and collaboration with state governments and industry. 20 lakh youth will be skilled over a five-year period. One thousand industrial training institutes will be upgraded in hub and spoke arrangements with outcome orientation. Course content and design will be aligned to the skill needs of industry and new courses will be introduced for emerging needs. Skilling loans. The model skill loan scheme will be revised to facilitate loans up to 7.5 lakh rupees 